Games programs. Welcome back to our new reviews. So, figured to end the week. Have a little fun. Look at another Armada figure. And today we are definitely looking at one of the one of the weirder ones. But today we're going to take a look at Armada Smokescreen. Smokescreen. Um, yeah, right off the bat, you look at this alt mode. Your brain does not go smokescreen. Okay, like we we know the name smokescreen. You expect a race car, not a crane tow truck thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're we're not off to the best of starts right now, to be perfectly honest. Um, but he, he's he's an interesting enough character, and what's funny is that he's known for being. Frankly, he's known for being really bad, but coming with one of the best Minicons in the line. Now, as usual, I can't remember the name of the Minicon. I'll throw it on the screen. But, uh, yeah. Y when you got this guy, they came together, as so many Armada figures did. They came with a Minicon. And th most people will tell you, only bother getting this if you want the Minicon. <laughs> So, really quick to get it out of the way, the Minicon integration here. Go ahead. Pop it in there. Let's you slide the arm forward, which will flip out a gun. And then if you hit the button there, it launches a very, very plain looking blue missile that doesn't want to focus. So, woohoo, yeah, I know, amazing... Super interesting gimmick. We we gotta look at them if only to get them out of the way. So there's that. Obviously, he does also have his tow hook back here. Um, this is a little bit neat because there's the switch right here. So you can either leave the switch to the left like it is, and you know just manually. Roll, uh, wheel it up like that, or if you flip the switch to the right, when you roll him, it will take care of the hook for you. So there, th this is probably the only toy I've seen with you know a hook feature like this that actually comes with an effective way to roll it up. So I. Definitely have to give him some points here. Um, just beware that, uh, yeah, these wheels are kind of locked together because of that little gimmick. But I'll let it slide for that. The crane arm here can ratchet up a little bit. Only goes, yeah, about that far before it runs out of motion. Can turn as well. However, there's a problem with trying to turn it. We turn something else. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this guy transformed so you can see the very, very disappointing robot mode. Open the doors. Fold down the obvious legs. This section here will actually push up into the bot. Um, you have to kind of twist these parts, uh, well, apart. Um... It looks like you could just pull this little peg through, but that is actually incredibly difficult to do. So I do recommend when pegging and unpegging this, use that kind of uh, twisting motion. There's another peg down here that you have to line up as well, but this one is a non-issue. But rotate the legs, fold out the feet, come to this side, unpeg these two halves from each other. You'll see that they're on kind of these weird little sliders. Go ahead and slide the shoulders forward, get them in place. Pull out the arms. And then when you spin this piece around, you spin his head around. And I have somehow undone this thing, boo. <laughs> but there you have smoke screen in his robot mode and um yeah 
I mean, he's already a pretty stout, dumpy guy in the show. But the figure is just mean about it. Like, th this is... This is Danny DeVito as a Transformer, okay? That th That is simply all that this thing is. Um, posability on him is incredibly limited. He's got shoulders that, you know, because of the rim on the tires here, you can only move about that far. Uh, the arms go in and out. That is all the elbow you get, as well as, yeah, the fist is... Completely modeled and molded in there, but all you're going to see is the side of the cab. Um, no waist rotation. Ball joint in the sh hips, but he can only kick forward that far, back that far, out that far. There's a rotation there. And you can fold up the foot. Um, he desperately, desperately needs a heel spur. Doesn't have one. He's got no knees. He's got next to no elbows. The only way to turn his head is to turn the big crane boom. Oh, and by the way, the crane boom is incredibly heavy. So he will always lean forward when you have him standing. There is no him standing up straight. There is only him leaning forward or him not standing up at all. Because the back of his heels... Are curved. Are you seeing why this is called a really, really bad figure yet? I, I mean, again, I'll give it credit. The way it handles the winch thing, that's pretty cool. The weird little fold-out, you know, blaster here, that's okay. This, I, I mean, for the robot mode, this is cool. But it gets in the way in the vehicle mode. And this thing has almost no posability. Let's look at the good part of this thing. Look at the Minicon. As you can see, he's a weird little, like, battle forklift, I guess? The, the mode on it makes very little sense, but it is still really, really neat looking. I, I will say I like how the colors match between the two. Not every Minicon was color matched to their uh, figure that they came with. This guy is. It looks neat. Uh, transformation on this guy is pretty neat, actually, especially for its time. Come to the back here. Extend the legs. Stand him up. Fold these down. Fold this panel along his back. And straighten out his arms. And there you go. It's very, very quick, very simple, but it looks cool. Now, obviously, yeah, I'm sure you're supposed to bring these down in the back as well. I personally prefer actually leaving those up. I think that looks really neat when they're up, just on the shoulder as shoulder pads. Um, also, you can just bring it down and... Put these back together if you want them to look as, you know, clean from the front as you can. But, yeah, the Minicon is actually pretty interesting. He's got this weird little, like, eye patch face. Um, looks like the head turns, but I guess it doesn't. Uh, he's got little wrists right there. He's got actually working elbows. He's got, you know, ball joint hips that don't get you much out, but you get forward and back. He's got knees. So, in short, the Minicon is more poseable than the actual figure that it came with. Which, it's, it, it's, not, a, it's not a good look. Nothing about this guy is a good look. But the Minicon is awesome. And you know what? We're gonna at least... Focus on the awesome Minicon. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.